Hello, this is Tim Hellman. This is Frank Eugene Hall. And this is Movie Talk. Today we're going to review the web television series Stranger Things, an original horror web television series released by Netflix. It's eight episodes long and it tells the story of the disappearance of a young boy and his family and friends' quest to find him. It was directed and written by Matt and Ross Duffer, and it stars Winona Ryder, David Harbour, Finn Wolford, Millie Bobby Brown, Charlie Heaton, Natalia Dyer, and Matthew Modine. We're actually going to review a TV series instead of a movie today. Wikipedia calls it a web TV series, but there's no TV around. And <laughs> I just think that we have to get beyond the idea of TV. TV uh, is something that is filmed episodically. These were clearly filmed at the same time as one large story and cut but into there is a eight lot segments. Of TV shows like that, man. It's making no sense to call things TV just because <laughs> they are in episodes. Star Wars is TV because it's in episodes. It's just the episodes are like 90 minutes versus 50 minutes. Is that the difference between film and TV? That's screwy. That's stupid. Star Wars like is, is are more generally like. Generally higher quality and more cinematic. And this is more of a. This was. Episodic. This. Stranger Things oh, is a, a seven plus hour film cut into eight episodes and it is but it's film, it's it is theatrical series. film quality. It's not theatrical film quality. It is. It's not it that is. good. No, yeah. it's not. Oh man. It's you, nowhere you, near theatrical Just because it says film. TV, you can't get no. beyond that. <laughs> it's really, seriously. The, the people oh. are, are caring about it because it is theatrical quality. It's not a TV series that has a certain number of weeks to fill. Anything that's supposed to like appear at a certain time of the week, and the cast comes back and films that episode, and then films the next episode, and then films the next episode, that's TV, and it tends to make for weak storytelling. Things are not very coherent across the whole thing because it is being written and filmed in pieces. This yeah, is written much, and filmed as one long theatrical quality story. Most TV doesn't like the way you're saying anymore. It's because most TV things. is evaporating. There isn't a such thing as TV except on cable. And seriously, who's watching cable? <laughs> the only time I see cable is when it's on the TV know, at the gym. Most, most and you know, and, and I can't hear the sound. I'm just like watching it. So it's when I watch it too. But. I know. So, it's, <laughs> right. So. Most Who watches cable? Average people. <laughs> average people. My cable is all internet. That's all it is. It is internet. <laughs> you don't it's have all any cable TV? No. Uh, Why would I? Why? You don't either. That's my, that's my point. Because I don't like TV. I like movies. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Right. I just think that we're in the middle of a lot of change uh, in technology and media and tastes. and. Well, I, I think we I think we have to take this notion that we have of TV and throw it out the window. There's mediocre episodic content, and that's what we've tended to get on TV. There is theatrical quality episodic content, like the Star Wars shows, like Stranger Things, and others yeah, that are like high high quality that may be broken up into Thrones. pieces. Game of Thrones is is is, is, is an example. Bad. You know, Breaking Bad, I think it went so long that it kind of, I mean, it, it doesn't have the overall coherence from start to end because it was sort of written in the middle. Is that the greatest TV show ever? I it love, may be the greatest I TV show TV. ever, but as That's a theatrical point. quality film, it is not. How did you feel about the acting in Stranger Things? Oh, it was pretty good. What stood out to you? I thought Winona Ryder was pretty good. She portrayed someone who's kind of almost uh, apparently is crazy to oh, everybody yeah, around her but she's <laughs> got this inner turmoil and she <laughs> is trying to hold it together and she knows that what she's saying looks like she's losing her mind but she's not losing she's her mind so and she's about yeah uh, that was a very gr <laughs> great place to uh, to be, I think I she should get an Academy Award <laughs> for it. And I know it's only a Grammy Emmy, and all this Emmy or Emmy or whatever. You know, really, <laughs> that's yeah. Come on, you can't uh, mix the awards. You, oh yes, we or, can because we're entering the future, and the well, future is different than the past. And you can't like really tell them an apart. Like athlete, a Grammy or a yeah. musician, an Oscar. Yeah, you can't mix them. 
Yeah. <laughs> the Academy Awards is only for a bunch of white people, but yeah. everybody else. No. No. Uh, this part of that is, uh, It's right. Um, <laughs> it's it's so it's so funny to see you stuck. And, you know, here's this film, and we can't have sort of like Stranger Things being considered as a movie talk review. It's not a movie. It's you know. Well, it's very interesting. Well, this is a movie talk review, but it's on a TV show. For <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> for it's on a TV show. Just called Neighbor Dead once in a while review TV shows, too. They reviewed The Critic. The thing I liked about Stranger Things is that it was engaging and it got you in, but as you look at the next one, it was exactly where it was in the same story. It was it was like you were seeing the movie. You were just seeing the movie and more of the movie. And you could binge watch this very easily if you want to watch a seven plus hour movie. But you know what was a better, more film quality type TV show was twenty four. Uh-huh. That was a continuing story. It was all one day. Okay. It's just a pick up back where it left. Okay. Up. So that, would you consider that a movie? No, of course you show. wouldn't. <laughs> it was a TV show. They're you, different things. They're so totally different for to they you, are. but I do not it's see. It's like calling a magazine article a novel. It's two different things. Ouch! It is. Ouch. It's two different things. Novels are written in chapters. Yeah. And you wouldn't call a chapter a novel, but you would call a set of chapters that are a novel a novel. Mm -hmm. Leaving aside whether we use the <laughs> old uh, old school name TV or the new media name film web what series. do you think of our web, web series web right series. web series uh, films erupt over the web um, what do you think about the storytelling and the film quality I like the atmosphere I like the opening credit sequence that was really cool isn't that cool yeah the, what do you that think reminded of the music? me of old um, yeah Stephen King Movies and um, yeah, and John Carpenter, yeah, stuff or eighties or. Yeah. What did you think of the music? Um, that's cool. Very eighties ish. I, I wasn't thinking eighties at all. I, I was that's the way the eighties movies used to be. <laughs> <laughs> it is. It, it was exactly like right out of the eighties. Exactly. It was. Nineteen eighty three. I. Yeah. I you know, it felt really 80s. Yeah, back when they were doing VHS a lot. Yeah, that. Mm -hmm. Anyway, I it I found the the music innovative, and mm -hmm. um, a really nice part of it because there's some things where s some points where you're not even sure you're listening to music. It's very mood enhancing sounds, and you don't quite know if it's music or if it's the environmental sounds of what you're watching or what. Uh, very well done. So what rating would you guess the whole thing? I'd give it a five star. I think five that five. is so well crafted both in story and in the execution. The transitions from one scene to the next are sometimes just very artistic. To have Winona Ryder at one point just talking to a little ball of Christmas lights. Mm -hmm. You know, she's this thing, she's talking to this and it's She's talking, it's like her son, and she's talking to her son, and she's just totally emotionally involved in talking to this yeah, ball of fair. Christmas lights as her son. Um, they're just moments that are gold. On a TV rating scale, I'd give it a 4.5, but on a movie rating scale, I'd give it a 4. Okay, okay, so TV's about half a point lower than <laughs> theatrical for you. Well, actually, th that's good. You're at least recognizing there's yeah. some quality there. Yeah. That's cool. Yeah. I don't like the stretched out episodic format, but... Yeah, yeah, that's true. Um, you, you don't seem to like that. You want to have your I films all in one condensed. one lump. Yeah. And if they're split, you call it TV. Yeah. I think it's too much of a time commitment for one thing. It is. It is. You're right. And right. there's something to be said for something that can succinctly be watched uh, in one city. I think it is theatrical quality. Um, I give it a five. It seems like they paid you money to fail it. They did, they did not. <laughs> I know it seems like. In fact, like a, I, I had to. Seem like a politician right now selling something. I seem like a politician. Kind of like Donald Trump. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, I 